Indian Connections only about a length off them early on. Peter Culture's right there in the black silks. Indian Connections going to look for direct cover behind him. Mr. Harry's quick on the left-hand side. Wind speed, the red cap between runners. Winter Migrant to the inside. Stunning Guy and Burwood just switched off about three lengths off the tempo. Peter Culture now angles extreme outside and scrapes that outside rail. Peter Culture in front by a length. Indian Connection, the white blaze. Winter Migrant's on the inside. Then comes Stunning Guy. You would have noticed Burwood's now angled right towards the inside for a clear run. On the outside is Mr. Harry. 300 metres to go. Peter Culture, how much left in the tank? Winter Peter Migrant's the first one to challenge. Burwood's going on the inside, but at this stage, Peter Culture gives all the right answers. And Anton Marcus says, let's go. And Peter Culture's clear. Burwood's running on Mr. Harry, but Peter Culture, this was Bullseye. Second, Mr. Harry, then Winter Migrant and Burwood. Then came Stunning Guy, Wind Speed and Indian Connection. Well, smart-looking specimen this, a nice black individual from the Robbie Hill stable, Peter Culture. And he just spread-eagled them coming to the 250-meter marker. Anton Marcus said, let's go, let's go win this. And Peter Culture responded, he gave all the right answers, and he wins by two and a half lengths at the post. Mr. Harry comes out second best with Winter Migrant third. And Burwood was tucked up at the back, had to go right to the inside for his challenge. And behind the stunning guy. So Peter Culture had the run of the race and had them off the bridle coming to the 300 meter marker. And when Anton Marcus said go, the son of St. Petersburg out of the Iliador Mare, Sylvan Culture. And this individual from the Robbie Hill stable and just blasts away from them. You can see just punched out, hands and heels coming to the last 100 meters. And jockey Anton Marcus jumps aboard for the first time. And Peter Culture obliges. He has a nice side on shot of this individual, a son of St. Petersburg. And he comes through to win a good contest. Second career victory from the seven runs back to the studio. Well, the Peter Culture exceptionally turned out uh, this afternoon by Robbie Hill. Anton Marcus doing duty. Well done to Team and Stables with the son of Petersburg, St. Petersburg. Coming off a three-month break, gelded. And uh, for me, he looked the part today. He really looked well, Anton. And uh, he's a striking-looking individual. He is, yes. Robbie prepared him very well. Uh, first one after the gelding, maybe that was the trick, you know. But he won with content today, these. Talking about the win, he jumped out, he did everything right? He did, it was straightforward. And uh, with this performance under his belt against older horses, he looks like he's got a bright future? Yeah, he'll definitely hold his own, no doubt, these. Before you leave us, Anton, anything else from your side later on? These, I thought my next best was probably God's horse in the, in the last year, but look at the form. I think Michael's horse might be a tough nut to crack. Still a bias down the straight, Anton, I see you guys out coming to the outside? He's not necessarily, you know, I mean, we go there because that's where the horses are winning, you know, they shouldn't be a bias. Mm. You know, I think that's where the pace is. This horse, he's got a tendency to hang to the right, so he ended up there, you know, I took Salesman there as well. Uh, he got caught, unfortunately, you know. Sure. Um, look, I mean, I guess it's the, it's the area of choice, probably. Whether there is a bias, you'll only know if someone's got the courage to go straight if they're drawn down the middle on a horse that's really fancied. You like to keep this right? I wouldn't mind, yes. Well played. Thank you. Lovely. Anton Marcus. Robbie, come through. Firstly, compliments to the stable. Not many horses, Rob, but the, the string's picking up, and uh, this horse seems to be one of your better ones. Yeah, look, he's one of the better ones. But firstly, thanks to Mark Young, you know, his um, team in stables. Mm. He's a really smart horse, and, um, yeah, thanks to him for, for having the patience and having the confidence in letting me train this horse. Um, unfortunately, he's probably going to be off to Singapore now, so... Um, big dent in my yard, yeah. but um, I'm sure you'll do them proud in Singapore. You, you, you've set the, the benchmark here in South Africa. Is that the plan with, uh, with Mark, that uh, the horses that do well here, they're going to be shipped? Yeah, I, if they're good enough, they'll go, yeah. And I, uh, I most certainly think he's, he's a really good horse. You know, he's, he's run twice over 1,000. He's won well over 1,000 twice. Mm. The horses he beat last time over 1,000 have all come out and won, and um, he's a pretty decent horse over 1,000 metres. And unfortunately, we, we tried him in the bigger races over longer distances, and he, he doesn't really go there. At, at this stage of his career, as a 1,000-meter horse. And a pretty decent one at that. Robbie, before you leave us, anything else from your side? Um, you know, Milan Messer coming out of his... He's having his first run out the maidens. He's got a lightweight with he's up to that sort of yardstick at this stage of his career. I don't know. Um, last one, hopeful. Now, yourself, and you've teamed up with your son, Shannon, and how are things going at Summerfeld? Yeah, no, things are going right, you know. Um, th things are, 
Yeah, at, at the moment things are working out all right. We haven't got a lot of horses to race, obviously, but um, we've got a lot of nice two-year-olds, so um, future does look all right. I got an SMS. The gentleman said, uh, I must ask you, do you still put a leg up in the mornings? I wish I did. <laughs> <laughs> you just leave it to the jocks in there. Yeah, no, um, no, no, it's not worth my while jumping on a horse at this stage, so I'd rather keep off him. Well, you've done a tremendous job uh, with the source, Robbie. A sad loss to stable, sad loss to racing and KZN. But uh, wherever he goes in the world, Singapore next, uh, hopefully he does well and we'll be following his career. Yeah, my only chance of him staying here is um, if uh, Mark wants to make St. Petersburg, he needs to leave the source here. <laughs> <laughs> so, so well done, Rob. <laughs> Thank you. Lovely. Always a pleasure chatting to Robbie Hill. And he's teamed up with his son, uh, Shannon. And uh, they've uh, got a decent horse on their hands, Peter Culture, who unfortunately may be leaving our shores here. Number five, Peter Culture has won race number three. Coming up next will be the start of the pick six, race number four, where many, including uh, the on-course selections, think that number two, Circle of Speed, looks the banker for the day.